हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी व्हिच वाज आस्क्ड इन जीटीयू विंटर 2020 एग्जाम ऑफ अप्लाइड मैथमेटिक्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट द क्वेश्चन इज थ्री स्टूडेंट्स डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी एंड कैपिटल सी आर रनिंग इन ए रेस स्टूडेंट ए एंड बी have the same probability of winning and each is twice as likely to win as c find the probability that either b or c wins and uh, here it is given one assumption that no two students reach the winning point simultaneously that is neither uh, no two students can win at the same time so first we uh, write the given information here we have three students a b and c which are taking competition in some race and uh, therefore first thing we will write is we will consider three events let capital a be the event that student a wins capital a denote the event that student denoted by a wins capital b is the event that student b wins and capital c is the event that student denoted by capital c wins and the assumption is no to reach the winning point simultaneously that is out of these three students if we make the pairs student a and b student a and c and student b and c then these three events are mutually exclusive a and b cannot occur at the same time similarly a and c cannot happen at the same time and b and c cannot happen at the same time that means we are assuming that there is no tie no two reach the winning point simultaneously means no two can win at the same time that is the assumption that means events a b and c are mutually exclusive or they are pairwise disjoint if we take any two pairs then they are disjoint so it is uh, given that a b and c are pairwise disjoint so we write that information also given that a b and c are pairwise disjoint or mutually exclusive now because a b and c are mutually exclusive probability of their union will be equal to probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c we know that addition law of probability for mutually exclusive events is probability of either a or b or c is equal to p of a plus p of b plus p of c and uh, we can assume that these are the only three mutually events under this uh, study so we can say that these events are exhaustive that is our sample space is the union of these three events therefore probability of a union b union c will be equal to probability of sample space and it is always one so we will find that uh, addition of probabilities of these three events is equal to one because these three events are mutually exclusive and uh, we can assume that there are only three events in our Uh, random uh, these three events are exhaustive that is their union is the sample space so we can say that probability of sample space is nothing but probability of a union b union c and probability of sample space is 1 therefore this addition is going to be 1 and uh, what is given students a and b have the same probability of winning that is probability of a and b are equal that is given and it is also given that each is twice as likely to win as c 
that means their probabilities of winning are two times probability of winning of student C. This means it is twice as likely to win as C. That means probability of A is two times probability of C. Probability of B is two times probability of C. So that is also given. So we can write that information also given that both the events A and B have same probability and this same probability is equal to 2 times probability of C. And now uh, we start with uh, this equation. Uh, we have seen that probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C is equal to 1. So we can start with uh, that equation or we can write that probability of A union B union C is equal to 1. We assume that these events are mutually exclusive or and exhaustive. They are exhaustive means their union is sample space. A, B and C are exhaustive events. Therefore, their union is sample space. And therefore, probability of A union B union C equal to probability of sample space which is al always 1. And uh, therefore, by addition law, for mutually exclusive events, we can write that probability of this union will be equal to probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C. This is equal to 1. And uh, we are given that probability of A is 2 times probability of C. Probability of B is also 2 times probability of C. So we can replace this by 2 times probability of C plus probability of C is equal to 1. So this is 2 plus 2 plus 1 that is 5 times probability of C is 1. Therefore probability of C that is student C wins the race is 1 divided by 5. Now we are asked to find the probability that either student B or C wins. That is we have to find the probability of the union of B and C. So probability that either B or C wins this is equal to probability of B union C. Now B and C are mutually exclusive therefore this is going to be probability of B plus probability of C. Probability of B is nothing but 2 times probability of C that is given plus probability of C and this is going to be 3 times probability of C and probability of C is 1 divided by 5 therefore this is going to be 3 divided by 5. Probability that either B or C wins is 3 divided by 5. So this is very easy question you can see we are just using the concept of mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. Exhaustive events means the union of given events is sample space and mutually exclusive means they are disjoint and uh, we are using addition law for mutually exclusive events. We know that if events are mutually exclusive, then probability of their union will be equal to addition of their probabilities. And uh, we are using the fact that probability of A and B are equal and they are equal to 2 times probability of C. So we substitute these two as 2 times probability of C and we obtain probability of C as 1 by 5. Again using the addition law for mutually exclusive events we are able to decide the probability that either B or C wins and it turns out to be 3 divided by 5. Okay fine so I stop here. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.